You learn a lot about a place just by traveling through it. Moving through Shenandoah National Park, you start to notice things. A cemetery headstone hidden by trees. The ruins of a church mission. The creeping vines of the periwinkle flower once planted in cemeteries. Old stones piled tall, removed from the earth by farmers to create fields. An abandoned millstone. Twisted, rusted metal from someone's work. Yes, Shenandoah has a very human past. And despite allowing nature to reclaim this land, you can still see clues to the park's human history, if you pay attention. There are stories in Shenandoah. The Roaring Twenties heyday of George Pollock's Skyline Resort. Rapidan Camp at the headwaters of the Rapidan River. President Hoover's retreat from 1929 to 1933. The Civilian Conservation Corps building the park during the Depression. The park's dedication by President Roosevelt in Big Meadows the summer of 1936. The segregation and subsequent desegregation of Lewis Mountain. And there are other stories that we are still learning about. The discovery of Belmont Winery, one of Virginia's first wineries at the north end of the park. Native American stories, thousands of years old, which are being unearthed through archeology. span Yes, we're learning more every day. And Shenandoah continues to change from being a place for home, sustenance and livelihood, to being a place for refuge, recreation and recreation. But there is still a human spirit in Shenandoah. So many voices echo here. Watch, listen, pay attention, and undoubtedly, you will hear them too.